Hey all, my name is Laszlo Leber, welcome to my channel Coaching. In this tutorial series, we are going to build a Spring Boot application and we are going to dockerize it. In the, in the last tutorial part, we are going to uh, dockerize our Spring Boot application with React and Nginx proxy. So we are going to run the full stack application inside Docker containers. But this is the second tutorial and here we are going to use Jersey, which is a JAX RS implementation to build REST API. And we are going to dockerize the Spring Boot application itself to run inside Docker container. So let's get started. Okay, in the previous tutorial, we have successfully created the basic Spring Boot application in Visual Studio Code. Now we are going to add some dependencies here. The first is um, Jersey Container Servlet. Here you can see it's uh, inserted in my POM XML. The second one is Jersey Media JSON Jackson. So it is inserted as well. We want to use different versions, so please type 2.26 here. And also for the previous uh, dependency, we are going to use this version number for all the Jersey dependencies. So the next one, the last one is the Jersey HK2. from this group or Glassfish Jersey inject. So the version is 2.26 again. You can run MVN install command now to install the dependencies. Here you can see that it's successfully installed for me. Now create a new package named configuration. And uh, we are going to create another package named uh, flows. In the flows, we are going to create a new class named Hello Web Rest Service. This is the class where we are going to define the function which will return a single response, which will be a static uh, string now. Here we define the path, it will be hello world. Okay, here we define the function itself, which will return the string. It's a get endpoint and the response type will be plain text. So we set here the media type to text plain. And here we return a string. Hello world. Jersey is here. Okay. It will be good. Import packages and uh, it is ready to use okay in the configuration package please create a new java file named rest resource main config this class will register our uh, hello web rest service so this is a component which extends the resource config. This is very important to add this extend here. And here in the constructor, we are going to register our endpoint. I'm adding some log message here. So here I'm logging registering rest configuration. 
and here I call the register. This is uh, the function of the rest config. So we can use it here. We don't need the, this uh, prefix. Um, and here I pass in the hello web rest service class. We have to import it as well. Now please create a new Java file in the configuration package named default jersey servlet config. So default jersey servlet config. It's important here to mark it as configuration primary And here we create a bean, servlet registration bean. Name default jersey. Here we pass in our rest resource main config. Name service config. Okay. Imported packages and here I'm creating a server registration bin object. I name it default jersey. It's a server regis regis registration bin. Inside of it, we have to create a new servlet container and pass in the service config. It's a generic type, so I set it, uh, it servlet. put it here and here. Okay, and now I am setting the default jerseys properties. So the first is I am set the mappings. So it will be slash backend slash API slash. So we are able to call our hello endpoint on this API path and uh, the default name would be default jersey and I'm setting up the load on startup as well to zero. And I'm returning this default jersey object. Here in the Spring REST application Java, we have to delete the basic REST configuration because we are using Jersey now. I forgot one important thing here regarding the bean. We have to mark it with the bean annotation to be able to make it working. Now you can call MVN Spring Boot Run and run your application and everything should work as expected. And here you can see it's working. I can call the localhost 880 slash backend slash API slash hello world. Okay, finally it is ready to dockerize 
So call MVN clean package. It will produce the jar file. You have two options. You can build a Docker uh, file where you build your project inside the container or you can build it as we can do it now. So we have the jar file now, we built it and we are going to build a Docker file where we are going to use this jar file inside our container. So here you can see our jar file is produced. We can test it so we can run it with this Java command. So type in Java dash jar and you have to give the path for your jar file and you can see that your application is running. So my application uh, started. I can check it in my browser now. Here you can see it's working like before. I get my response. Okay, uh, now please create a new Docker file in the root director directory and paste this code there. We are derived from a JDK11 image. We pass in our Java file, we set up the work di directory, we copy our jar file to that directory and call the uh, run command from there. Now we can call the docker build command. Our docker file is ready so please type in docker build and uh, the tag will be spring test 001 and don't forget to add the point slash path so the root path after the command and you can see here that my docker uh, is building and uh, And now it's ready to use. You can call now docker run d p 8080 to 8080 and uh, dash t and give your image name my spring test 001 and you can see here it's running my container is running so I can view its logs I can see the same logs here than before when we run the app from the VS Code directly. So here you can see my application is running on port 8080 as usual. Okay, it was the second part of the tutorial series. In the third part, in the last part, we are going to dockerize the whole full stack application. So we are going to create a React application and we are going to dockerize the React application, the Spring Boot application and an Nginx proxy. So the whole full stack application will uh, run inside the Docker containers and, uh, and we are going to do that in the next tutorial video. So come back and uh, check my next video too. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You will find many interesting tutorials in this channel in the future too. So thank you very much again and bye.